Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Yeah, still pretty sad price action here on the Matic chart at the moment. I mean, it is printing higher highs and higher lows on this chart, but the support area still remains valid. I mean, we have here the 78 and a half cent level, still critical support. That level really shouldn't be broken to the downside in this so-called one, two setup that we have here on the chart because any break below the 78.6 FIP level will likely lead to invalidation of the immediate bullish setup and scenario. Let's talk about the structure first. We're dealing here still with this 1-2-1-2 setup on the chart. Normally one of the most bullish Elliott Wave um, setups that you can get, a 1-2-1-2. And really, however, there were already a few 1-2s on the chart that were invalidated. Uh, at least smaller degree ones. And so far, Polygon or Matic hasn't really used the bullish potential that it had. Well, it kind of has used it. So we've seen further upside, but not the aggressive upside that some other coins have shown. And, you know, even now the, the pullback is quite deep. Uh, there was most recently another one two setup that was invalidated. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's not really making use of all these bullish subwave structures that it has available. And that is a bit of a reason for concern. I mean, as long as support levels are holding, I'm not bearish or anything. I just want to mention that, yeah, you know, that be below 78 and a half cents, also this one two setup, which would be the. Um, nice setup that we normally get before a third wave rally starts. I mean, this one two setup will likely be invalidated below 78 and a half cents. The formal invalidation point is the beginning of the wave one. It's here at around 68 and a half cents. Um, so that's sort of the overall context. I can tell you that I'm done with this chart probably below 78 and a half cents. Yep. There is still an alternative wave two that could play out larger time frame, larger degree. And it would then simply be here, wave one to the upside into the December highs, A wave down, overshooting B wave, C wave down, and then go. But um, it, you know, I will, I will lose some confidence in this chart with a break below 78 and a half cents. Now it's not broken yet, everything okay, you know. Now let's go to the one hour time frame. Here on the one hour chart, you can see this wave one top most likely recently, that was here on the 13th of March. We're now in this wave two pullback. And here there are two possibilities. Either wave two bottomed already and we're now in a third wave rally. Now, does this look like third wave rally style? Not really. So I'm in favor at the moment of the orange scenario in which the move down from the 13th of March high down to the recent lows here of this week. This was just an A wave in the orange scenario. We could now be working on that B wave, which would be again an A, B, C structure. It's pretty much in line with the Bitcoin chart, this short term count and scenario. So it kind of makes sense. Standard resistance area for wave B for this B wave rally is between $1.08 and $1.20. And as soon as we get into this resistance area and should we see a reaction there, then the C wave to the downside might have started to unfold. And then it's reasonable to assume that the C wave down should test 60, um, 86.7 cents or 78 and a half cents. But below 70, 78 and a half, I know we have to change expectations here on the chart. Yeah, this, this move up looks very choppy at the moment. So I assume that in this larger, one second, in this larger B wave rally that we only had a top in place in wave A. This thing could be a B wave pullback, might even be in already because we have three waves down. Also depends on how I lay, you know, A wave down, B wave up, C wave down, all good. And then now a break above the $1.02 level, $1 level would suggest that the C wave to the upside has started to unfold, possibly targeting here $1.09, $1.13 next. Yeah, that's just a quick update about Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.